I'm Andrew, and welcome to episode two of Vloguary. So, I've decided that I'm just gonna, um, film my daily progress, and when I have, like, 10 or 15 minutes of stuff, then I'll put it up, and so that's what I've decided. So, this is my progress for December 26th, which was yesterday when we cast on. Um, I'll show you this in a second. Um, usually I will film every evening, but last night I just didn't have the time to film, so I'm getting to it now. Um, and so this evening I will film my progress for today. We are today going to be driving down to my grandparents' house to celebrate Christmas with them and we're staying a few nights because it's like three and a half hours from here. So I'm gonna be in a different location for the next few days. So yeah, um so that's gonna be a thing and yeah. So I'm sorry if this is short and sweet, um, but we are in the process of packing and getting ready to get out the door, so I technically don't have time to film this either, but I'm making time so that I can show you yesterday's progress before I make any progress today. So this is all the progress I made on December 26th, which was yesterday, the cast on day, and I so far am very happy with it. So I started with um, silver lining which is this color of um, Spin Cycle Dream State. And then, like I said in my introductory video that I put up the other day, um, or February episode one, I said that um, it's gonna then move into Birds of a Feather, and then it's gonna move from Birds of a Feather into Overpasses. So that's gonna be a nice fade, I think. And then uh, I've got the main color in there, which is my Madeline Tosh, and there will be more information in the um, introductory video if you go and watch that. And so I got through row 12 of section 2. And section 2 starts when the main color is introduced. So I got through row 12 of section 2 as of yesterday. So, yeah. I will be back tonight to share some more progress from my grandparents' house, of course, like I mentioned earlier. So it's going to be a different location. So, yeah. And tonight I'll talk about more about what I'm wearing today. I just don't have time right now, so I will talk more about that tonight. Okay. So, good evening. I have made it to my grandparents house as you can see and I'm going to show you what progress I made today. It's not a lot but I finished row 22 of section 2. So. That's my progress for today. Um, hopefully I will make more progress tomorrow. Should be a lot more progress tomorrow because we're not going anywhere tomorrow. We are staying here because there's going to be snow. So, yeah, because it'll be snowing tomorrow, I don't think we're really going anywhere. Um, and tomorrow's Tuesday, so, yeah, um, Wednesday, however, we are going to be going to, um, visit a family member, and in the town that she lives in, there is a yarn shop, and so I'm going to be going to that yarn shop, it is Flax and Fleece in Sauk City, Wisconsin, and so on Wednesday, if I get anything there, I will show you my haul. Um, 
but as promised, I would I told you this morning that I would show you what I'm wearing today. Here it is. I know the lighting isn't super great, but it's the best I've got. Um, here's a little more close up, and then I'll tell you about it. So, this is the Glow Chini. It is a Stephen B pattern. And I will give a link in the description box down below to Stephen's Poncini video, which explains more about what a Poncini is. And this is a version of that. And at the making of the video, this version hasn't been released yet, so this one isn't in the video. But, um,. Yeah, so that's um, what I'm wearing, and it's knit on size 17 needles, and I will give a link to the pattern, um, but yeah, it's knit on size 17 needles, and, um, and you hold two strands of Kasky Luminosa and one strand of 220 Superwash together, so three strands of yarn. So my 220 Superwash is black, and then my Kasky Luminosa, the two colors are Pewter and Ruby. And you need two skeins of each of your colors of Luminosa, and then two skeins of your color of 220 Superwash. And um, also, Cascade just recently discontinued Luminosa, so that's kind of a bummer but anyways yeah so that's what I'm wearing um, I just finished this last week it was on um, let's see today is Monday and I just finished it on Thursday I think yeah I finished it on Thursday so, yeah, um, so I will come back tomorrow evening and I will share my progress with the hyper knit along or the cable trellis shawl. I'll show you the progress I made tomorrow and then I will also talk a little bit more about what I'm wearing tomorrow. And you'll want to see that because um, I just finished that shawl. So I'm super excited to show you what I'm wearing tomorrow because it's a newly finished item. And then, as I said, I'll show you my progress on the cable trellis shawl as well. So I will see you tomorrow evening. Good evening, it is Tuesday the 27th of December, and here is the progress I made today. I have completed section 2 of the cable trellis shawl. Um, so that is all 44 rows of section 2 completed. So in the morning I will start section 3, which will be exciting. So. Yeah, super excited about that. Um, here's how much I have left of my first color of spin cycle. So, yeah, I'm getting pretty excited for this to run out so I can change to my next color. But, yeah, and then here's how much I've left of the first skein of my main color. Um, and then another exciting thing that happened today is, um, my, because I told you that I'm staying at my grandparents' house for a few days, my grandmother ran out of 
something that she needed to make something in she was gonna cook something and she ran out of one of the ingredients and had to go to the store and their local um, neighborhood grocery store just recently closed and so the nearest place to have what she needed was the Dollar General and so she said okay I need to go to the Dollar General I'll be back and so I said hi can I come with you and she said sure and I haven't been to a Dollar General except maybe once and that was a long time ago and I've seen online that they have yarn so that's why I wanted to go with yes I'm still going to the yarn shop in Sauk City tomorrow and I will do my haul tomorrow. And that'll be more exciting than this haul. Okay, because it's not gonna be dollar store yarn. Um, but nonetheless, I will show you what I got. I got an entire fade, and I only spent about $6. Um, for starters, this is the Dollar General brand of yarn. This is Art Skills Crafters Closet Yarn. And this is 100% cotton. It's basically like lily sugar and cream. And it has 102 yards. It's a four weight yarn, medium number four. 100% cotton. Um, it does say you do need to hand wash it though. Um, and lay flat to dry, which I'm a little surprised about. Um, and here's the information. I cannot figure out what the name of the color is or the color number or whatever. Um, but if you've had this yarn before and you've had more than one color, maybe you know where it says the name of the color or the number. So there's the information where it might potentially say what color it is. Um, and then here's the front of the label and it is pink purple and white so and then they had variegated ones and solid ones and then they also had a couple skeins of lamb brand reup and so I got two skeins of reup one skein confetti and one skein of bubblegum confetti bubblegum so yeah um this one instead of it being 102 yards is 103 yards and it's 100 percent recycled cotton and it's still a four weight um this one's machine wash bone dryable but yeah so this one like i said is confetti and this one is bubble gum and so I thought the three of these made a really nice fade I really liked it gorgeous the only thing is I'm going to need to get a second skein of each of them because the Dollar General did have Wi-Fi but it wasn't working or at least I couldn't get it to load on my phone and so, as a result, I couldn't browse patterns. Oh, sorry. I'm sitting on the stairs here and I almost fell. <laughs> um, and so, as a result, I um, couldn't browse patterns. And so, I had to browse patterns when I got back from the store. And so, I've decided on the crosswalk shawl by Stephen West I still need to buy a solid color to go with it as well this color D needs to be a solid and then ABC need to be variegated now getting a second skein of each of the re-ups that's going to be pretty easy because um, more than one place has it um, and I've never been to my local Dollar General 
because they just recently expanded to Minnesota because I live in the Twin Cities so um, they just recently expanded there so um, and I do have a $10 gift card for Dollar General that I didn't have with me unfortunately but I will use it to buy my second skeins if my local Dollar General happens to have it um, the challenge though will be finding a second skein of this one okay because Dollar General is the only place I can get it and they only had one skein at this location that I went to sorry about that my phone died okay so As I was saying, I was saying that this one's going to be hard to get a second skein of because this is the one that's exclusive to Dollar General and it's 102 yards and I need 120 yards. So I messaged Stephen West on Ravelry to ask him for sure if that will be enough. And so we'll see what he says. Lastly, I promised I would tell you guys about what I'm wearing today. This is a shawl. I'll take it off in a second. This is Glacier Sweep by Stephen West. And I can maybe make a dedicated video on it later um, talking about my experiences knitting it but um, yeah uh, it's Glacier Sweep by Stephen West I did the heavy worsted weight version and I used wool in the gang Billy Jean in the colorway washed out denim and then my edging is raw denim which is also wool in the gang Billie Jean. And I came up with a couple snafus while knitting this, and so that's why I said I should probably just make a dedicated video on it. But otherwise, that's all I have for today. I will come back tomorrow with more progress on my shawl, as well as my flax and fleece haul. See you tomorrow. <laughs>
so I will do that. Link in the description down below to their website, blackandpolice.com. Alright, so first thing, I got what I went there for. My local yarn store, Stephen B. in Minneapolis, they don't carry Zauberball Starka 6. Now, they do carry Zauberball, they just don't have Starka 6. Um, and the Spiraling Cables Triangle, I wanted to use a Starka 6 for that. I don't have my solid picked out yet, but here is the Zauberball Starka 6 that I purchased. Um, color number 2204. Okay, so. So, that'll be fun to work with, I hope. And then, the other thing I got when I was there was kind of sort of a fun surprise that I found. Were these. Now let me tell you about these. These are really fun. This is Stonehenge Fibers Crazy. So what this is, is it's a sport weight, it's two ply, and notice it says on the label, no two are alike. So what they do is they use their mill ends and they dye this yarn um, or they use their mill ends to make this yarn, and so whatever they have is what they put in it, and so as a result, no two skeins are going to be the same. So, yeah, this would also be a really good substitute for spin cycle dyed in the wool, as long as your pattern doesn't call for two or more skeins of a color. Because obviously if you need two or more skeins of a color of spin cycle, you can't use this because there isn't going to be a second one. They only make one of each. Um, so yeah, and the other thing is, spin cycle dyed in the wool has 200 yards, whereas the crazy yarn has 230 yards. Spin cycle dyed in the wool is about $30, whereas the crazy yarn is about $13. So you're getting more bang for your buck. And I didn't get this because it was less expensive. I actually got this because I like the color palette or the color combo better than what Spin Cycle had. Um, so if you're wondering, the pattern is Quadrangle Spires by Stephen West. No, I don't have my solid color picked out yet. Um, I have a couple ideas, but I will just share it with you once I've finalized it. So, alright, I'm going to show you these in a certain order here, so bear with me while I find the right order. Okay, so this is the color I'm going to use for section one, and because these are all one of a kinds, they don't have names, so... Um, this is for section one. This one is for section two. And this is the one the whole thing is based off of. When I saw this one, I knew I had to make my quadrangle spires out of this yarn. Um, so yeah, this is for section two. This is for section three. And lastly, this is for section four. So I had to get six colors, because that's what Quadrangle Spires calls for, six colors of spin cycle dyed in the wool, which you can substitute the crazy yarn instead. So these were the other two that I got, and these will end up in the spires at some point. 
So quadrangle spires, the middle part is the quadrangle, and then the parts that branch out from it are the spires. And with the spires, you use up the leftovers from the quadrangles. In other words, these four will still be used in the quadrangles and the spires, both. But then, for yardage purposes, you then add in two more colors in the spires as well. So, that's what Stephen West did. So, the fifth and sixth colors aren't used in the middle part. So, that's pretty much my flax and fleece haul. Um, I'll probably talk more about this yarn in specific once I've had a chance to try it out and use it, which probably won't be until I cast on my shawl. So, yeah. Um, so, I definitely recommend you go check out my shawlography video if you're curious about my shawl. Um, yeah, um, at the recording of this video, I have not yet posted my shawlography video, but by the time I post this, that video will be already posted. Okay? Um, yeah, so, because tomorrow night, I think I'm going to film the final part. So yeah, and I finally got around to modeling my shawl today because the place in which I wanted to model it was down here at my grandparents' house. And so, yeah, um, and in my video I wanted to put pictures of myself modeling it at the end of the video and so I wanted to get the pictures done before posting the video, which is why it's taken so long to get my clue four video up so yeah so i'm gonna film the final bit probably tomorrow and then i will get that video up before i get this video up otherwise that's all i have to say i will see you guys tomorrow uh and i will be home when i see you guys so i'll be back to my regular location so i'll see you tomorrow okay so i'm back home now good evening it is thursday the 30th of december and here's my progress that i made on my cable trellis shawl today um so my progress will appear to get smaller and smaller as the rows get longer because rows will start taking longer. But um, I got a little bit of knitting done in the car on the way home. And then towards the end of the car ride, it did start to get a little bit dark. And so I finished my row and then put it away because it was too dark. In fact, I actually had to finish my row when we got home and the dome lights went on in the car when we opened the door because... It got so dark but um i got through row eight of section three so yeah i'm loving how it's going and right now this part's a little bit like wonky section one is but i can walk it when it's finished so yeah i'm really really pleased with how this is going <clears throat> and yeah so that's my progress, row eight of section three. And then really the only other thing I have to share with you is what I'm wearing. This is Vertices Unite by Stephen West. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let me see if I can hold it up and show you. Okay, this is the best I can really do to show you, um, but I have pictures on my project page on Ravelry, so it has a piece of hair on it. There we go. Alright, so, yeah, that's my Vertices Unite. Um, so we've got section one, which is navy and brown, 
section two, which is teal and white. Section three, which is gold. Um, I'm trying to remember which was section four and which was section five. I don't remember if the teal section was section four or if the navy and white was section four. One of them was section four, the other was section five, and then section six is brown. And then the edging, yeah, the I-cord edge is teal. <clears throat> and the yarn I used is loops and threads wool-like. Yeah, loops and threads wool-like, and my colors are, um, navy, chocolate brown, I actually think it's just called chocolate, so navy, chocolate, yeah, um, I'm trying to think of A, I think is, I don't remember if A was chocolate or B was chocolate, and then uh, A would be navy or B would be navy, so, navy and chocolate are A and B, I don't remember which is which, but, um, and then C is white, D is teal white. And E is golden yellow. And like I said, this is um, Loops and Threads Wool Like, which is exclusively sold at Michael's. Fingering weight acrylic yarn. I actually really like this yarn, despite all the $30 yarns I buy. Uh, I really love this yarn. The only reason I don't do more projects with it is the color palette it comes in. It tends to come in more muted colors and not the really, really bright neons that I like. And so, I buy the other yarn mostly for the color. And also, I do like wool better than acrylic, but this is actually a really nice yarn. You get 678 yards for like $3, and that's full price. So if you have a coupon, it's more likely to be like dollar, $2 for a skein. So, yeah. So I'm really excited with how that turned out. And I made it oh, a couple months ago. I made it. Um, you can go on my Ravelry project page for this. And you can see my notes as to when I started and finished it. If you're curious. But, um. Yeah, there's a link to my Ravelry account in the description box of every single one of my videos, so. And a link to my designer page on Ravelry, because I have a couple of designs out. So, yeah. So I'm really excited with this. I'm ranting on about my Vertices Unite, even though I probably shouldn't be. So, I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll be back this evening. So... This video is about 30 minutes, so I'm going to conclude episode 2 of Vloguary, and then I will come back for episode 3 of Vloguary tomorrow night. So, yeah. I'm Andrew. Thank you for checking in here at the Neon Knitter, and I will see you in the next video.